Hackers have managed to break into the database of a prominent plastic surgeon in the UK and they are alleging that they have um, images of celebrities in uh, vulnerable situations, including in the middle of uh, cosmetic procedures. And they also have um, you know, some of the medical records that uh, this plastic surgeon has on file on number of individuals. Now these hackers have broken into a high profile London based plastic surgeon and stolen a bevy of photos including of in progress genitalia and breast enhancement. The hackers known as the dark overlord have traditionally tried to extort their victims including schools, medical centers and even a production studio linked to Netflix. The Daily Beast uh, broke this story and they have been in contact with uh, some of these hackers and they proved to uh, the writer uh, Joseph Cox that they did manage to break into uh, this plastic surgeon's um, database because they emailed him through an email linked to the, the, the plastic surgeon. Um, they also uh, shared some of the images that they managed to steal. And uh, they, one of the hackers said the following, we're going to pitch it all up for everyone to nab the entire patient list with corresponding photos. The world has never seen a medical dump of a plastic surgeon to such degree. So uh, this is pretty devastating for anyone who has uh, received any type of treatment or had any type of surgery um, at this plastic surgeon's office. Uh, it's known as the London Bridge Plastic Surgery. Uh, that is the name of the plastic surgeon. Yeah. Or the company doing these plastic surgeries. <clears throat> Look, there's some bad guys in the world, man, and so the and there's almost no privacy left. So I, I this is repulsive. I, I don't want to see people getting a liposuction or a breast enhancement, and that's like I can't imagine a more private moment. And you're gonna hack in, and what are you gonna do? Like you're gonna embarrass them, and they go, ha ha. I mean, I I guess I get the motivation because it's a crime, and they want to make money. Right, and and so it's like you going into somebody's house and robbing them. You don't care about their feelings. You don't care that they saved up their whole life for that, and it was for their kids, and they're not going to. You don't care, right? Okay, so I mean, you call yourself the Dark Overlord, so I guess you don't care about anybody else. But is it as a society we get coarser and coarser and and. It's yeah, there's there are monsters among us, and there are people who are looking for a way to make some easy money, and this type of extortion for them is fun, and and they're gonna make some easy money because if you're desperate and you don't want this stuff to be out there, then you're gonna pay, and they have successfully extorted hospitals and schools um, where they'll uh, hold on to data, they'll lock data, uh, and they people won't can die it. when you do that at a yeah, hospital. That's the true. degree yeah. of Lack of empathy. They don't care. They don't, right? So, and they're like they're bragging that some of the royal family people there. I don't care about the royals. I don't, and it's and I it's not like I'm like looking to protect celebrities. I don't care. What I do and and okay, you're doing an extortion racket. I get it, right? The part that bothers me the most is the ha ha attitude. Like, oh, yeah, we're gonna show you at your most embarrassing time. We're gonna get like the vindictiveness. And I get it, but it's just if it if that doesn't make you feel gross, maybe there's something wrong with you. Like you're missing an empathy gene, and you're a bit of a sociopath. TYT membership gets you commercial free Young Turks. Download it, stream it, podcast it, get all the network shows, and support independent media. TYTnetwork.com/slash/join.